Hi everyone, this is Kovi. Today we want to talk about one particular precautionary measure, which is face covering or wearing a mask. Since the COVID-19 pandemic outbreak, people in different countries have been advised by different governments and authorities to take necessary precautions, such as washing hands regularly and carefully, um, practice social distancing rules, um, especially when going out, and if you are feeling unwell, stay at home and isolate yourself and including your family for seven days or 14 days, depending on the country. <laughs> but there hasn't been one universal rule regarding face covering or wearing a mask. So you can see that, especially in Asian countries which were affected by the virus rather in early stage, such as China, Japan and Korea, people have been wearing masks and the percentage is very high. But in Western countries, um, wearing a mask or face covering um, were not an essential measure to take. As the situation evolved, um, some countries started to introduce or suggest their people to cover their face or to wear a face mask. The WHO hasn't made it clear yet that we all need to wear a mask to prevent uh, the virus. Masks should only be used by healthcare workers, caretakers, or by people who are sick with symptoms of fever and cough. Medical masks like this one cannot protect against the new coronavirus when used alone. When you wear them, you must combine with hand hygiene and other preventive measures. Around a month ago, I interviewed my friends from all over the world and we talked about issues around the coronavirus. And one of the questions were regarding wearing masks. Around a week ago, I did a follow-up interview with some friends again. And now it is very interesting to look back to those interviews. And I decide to do a video uh, today to show you um, the difference between time as the coronavirus evolved. And um, I hope you enjoy this video. Indeed, I do wear a mask. I do wear a mask every time when I go outside, even just to go downstairs to collect my delivery. I wear it mostly in uh, public transportation or crowded places. I personally don't wear a mask. Sometimes I wear it and sometimes I don't. You can see that I'm not wearing a mask and most people around are also not wearing masks. I personally think people should wear a mask when they themselves are sick to protect the people around them. I've read that um, they don't really do anything. My dad, who's a doctor, has confirmed that and obviously I believe my dad. And also, I just don't own any masks. I personally think it should be people that are infected that should be wearing the mask, not the other way around. However, in a panic or in the current state of the crisis right now, people are doing what they think is necessary to protect their health. Uh, I don't wear it sometimes because people uh, stare at me and suspect that I'm carrying the virus and this makes me uncomfortable and people around me as well because sometimes they will avoid sitting next to me because we can't be so sure of other people even I'm not really sure of myself It's compulsory to wear a mask in China We believe it is a decent measure to stop or control the outbreak. The benefit for the majority is also the benefit for everyone. I would wear one if I myself was sick to protect everyone else. I believe if it gets to the stage where scientists believe that the condition could become airborne to the point where it's not even close contact anymore, where it's actually just by being out in the open, then obviously that would be a, a time to seriously consider wearing a mask. As of this time, I think I've only seen one person who's been wearing a mask. Um, virus has evolved and has become airborne. People are really wearing masks and the percentage keeps going up. I do feel that it's, it's a necessity at this point to wear masks and you see that some people are becoming creative with, with protecting themselves because some people don't have masks. So 
I've seen people wear scuba goggles and I've seen people put um, scarves around their faces. The office workers in Jakarta uh, who wear masks are increasing. Uh, at the grocery store, I found uh, nobody that wear no mask. Maybe five out of push, 10% of, of people I see. Nearly, if not every other person, then every third person. About six to seven percent people in Delhi wear masks. I have been seeing more and more people using masks these days. A uh, few people wear uh, masks. The whole narrative kind of changed. Here they started uh, recognizing the uh, the benefits of wearing a mask and how necessary it is in uh, in such pandemic. In Asian countries, it's more polite and uh, considerate to wear a mask when you are sick. People have to wear masks when they know that they are sick, even if it's just a little cough or a sore throat. When I see someone wear a mask, I kind of think in my head that they're exaggerating a little bit. But then uh, I kind of ask myself, why do I think that? And why do I assume that I know more than them? I was judgmental initially when I saw people wearing masks. I was kind of questioning whether people who wear masks are adding to the panic that is already out there. In hindsight, I can see that it's it's probably the right thing to do. Ultimately, they're worried about their health, the health of others, and anything that promotes hygienic practices that promotes their health and the health of others, I can only support. I just don't own any masks. We don't have enough masks. Unfortunately, there is like um, there is a shortage in masks in France. Even if I was to decide to wear a mask at this point, where would I even get it from? They're, they're sold out everywhere. And the, those who are selling it are selling it at extortionate prices. And after you wear it one time, you'll have to get another one and another one. And There's just so much information out there that uh, different sources say different things and contradicting things. So far, it's, it's been you should wear masks, you shouldn't wear masks. There's so much back and forth here. And it, it'd be nice to just get some clarity backed up by science. And then we can all get behind the, the initiative. No one should be judged for taking specific measures and everyone should be left to do what they think is best.